Hi, how are you? I'm Dr. Franco Colombo in chiropractic and nutrition, and today we're going to show you how we train Stallone for Rambo 2. In Rambo 3, um, I remember writing a couple of training programs, and then he had to he had to go on location, and he, he brought somebody and he trained with somebody too there. The training program never really changed much. It was always similar, because he was used to it to do that. Sly, when he became a big star, he, he became very busy. After he did Rocky One, the success was, everybody wants to make a country, everybody. So in his mind was to do less, to get in shape and do a smaller workout, shorter. And he actually neglected the most the legs because he didn't like to do leg work from the beginning, but it was almost like too much time consuming. And therefore, he aimed more to do the upper body. And I didn't force too much on the legs, you know, so we just do a couple of exercises and we stop and it was fine, but everybody has a favorite body part. <laughs> Sly, at that time, when he did Rambo One, he was probably 180 pounds, and for Rambo Two, he was like 195 to 197. So again, between 15 and 18 pounds. All muscle. But he had more definition in Rambo Two than in Rambo One, so it was really 100% muscle gain. He actually went running a couple of times. And he told me, he says, I do 100 meters running. I, you know, I wanted to show him you know, that I can beat him, he beat him. And we went out. I said, okay, when we are done training, we, go out, we run 200 meters. Let's see how fast you can run. And he says, you cannot run. I can beat you in running. I said, fine. I said, let's try it. And he gets the trainer too there, the, not the trainer, the bodyguard. And the guy couldn't run, you know, it was heavy. You know, he can't run much. So we stand and a street is an Olympic Boulevard. I said to him, okay, start here and I start there. He says, why? <laughs> I said, because that's the amount that I can beat you. I said, 10 meters. And she said, no way. And he's now, I'm behind it. And this is the problem. When you're together, you can always look at you and you can fight. There's a lot of psychology because he was always trying to do psychology with me. And I'm always inventing. I'm always inventing, you know, to give him trouble. I get behind it. Now he can see me where I am. So he's running and he's talking to the other guy. And they're both running together like this. And I let it go. I got really close from behind it. And I waited just 10 meters to go and I passed him. And I say, see, this is what I mean. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, okay, you know. The leg training is very important to also do two or three exercises. Take the dumbbells in your hands and put the legs six to 10 inches apart. They have to be like this, little open, and you stand nice and straight with the chest up and squat down and up. And when it goes down, it's not straight 100%. Let me show you another way to do it that really is good. By putting the heels on top of that weight, now you come down straighter. See how straight I am? Go. This is very smart to do this. You get more leg workout. Little fast. Go. Perfect. So we did the squat. Now we're gonna do lunges. Take the dumbbells again. 
and I want it to be really nice and straight. One, two. Straight I want it to be, go. And come back, then the other leg. Okay, let me explain a little bit. Most people do lunges like this. You cannot do it this way. This is uh, all the weight is in this knee and it's wrong. You need to be here. But the weight is like nice and straight. We can even do calf raises. We put the weights here. And you can stand here and do with one foot with your own body weight calf raises like this. Eh? And this requires 15 time. You try it. Go. Eh? All the way up and all the way down. Yeah, higher. You can use your own body weight to do calf raises, but you, you know, you, you really need all your body weight on one foot, on one calf. Then the calf gets nice shape. Now do the other one. Good. Go. And in case you feel really strong and it's too easy for you, I'm going to show you another way to do it. This is the same exercise, but we add weights. Put one hand on here and, and, and do calf raise like before. You can take a weight and make it heavier and exercise this way the same amount of reps, 15. And now we go to the most important part of our body, which is the stomach. This stomach exercises, I developed it from scratch to prevent low back problems and to be more effective. This is number one. It will be like this. This is the start and this is the ending. It's like this. And the ten. The second one you have to do right after this one, the second one. We're going to do a routine, a super set, I call it. We did that. The second one is this, with the legs up in the air. And you do this, like this. OK. There are four exercises, really, you know? Three are done together. The sit-ups, the two, and the one on the side where you raise the leg. And this one, the first week, we did it three times 25 repetition. Three sets, 25 reps. Then as he got good at it, the second week, we went to five sets times 25. Okay. And then I did a strange modification, and that was we will do one day five sets, one day 10 to, to do a change because if you don't want to always do the same thing. And then I said, look, yesterday we only did five sets. Today let's do 10 and then the next day we do less anyway. We did it, John. Yeah, 
when he saw himself getting better here, he just got so motivated, he never complained about that. So that was really good. The third one, immediately we do. You lie down now, sideways, like this. Okay, one, two, like this. Then the other side, nice and straight, and go. You see how it goes? That's for here, for here, for here, and for here. You get all this in shape. With the three exercises, I recommend to repeat this three times. We did one, all three, why we are doing all three together. Number one, after you do this, you get tired. And instead of resting, you do the other exercise. Then instead of resting, we do the side. Every time you get involved in another area, you can continue. The secret of getting rid of the fat here is continuous training. Look, we only did one set, 75 times ready, 75 reps. Actually. We did a hundred. Now I'm going to have him do the three things together to show flow. After we did this routine, the stomach routine, we're gonna do one more exercise which is very helpful for here. All you need to do is standing like this. Leg is wide, and you can be here, and you do this. How to get rid of the slab handles. If you do a thousand reps a day like this, they disappear real fast. The biggest difficulty was for the end of the six or seven weeks. It was getting so in shape, but I was pushing it a little bit like too much with, without resting in between and I put more weight and I was trying to get to the final and it was almost like reaching borderline, including the stomach, like we were doing extra stomach. And that got to a point, once in a while I heard a big complaint by saying, I'm not, I think I'm not gonna do this again. And I said, Sly, you will never get in shape this good again, if you don't do this again. And he just looked over and then lie down and do another set, you know. And then the next day he will complain again and say, don't you think we are overdoing it? So because you're leaving soon to the movie set. <laughs> he had to like overcome all these difficulties and he says, maybe we can stop now. One time without even doing one sit up yet, he says, we can stop now, I have to go somewhere. I said, tell him to come here. <laughs> and I was like, it doesn't work that way. You know, no, no, I said, we are finishing. They wait for you. Remember, you famous, they wait for you. Okay, you know, fun, we had a lot of fun. <laughs>